Hello everyone, today for Art at Home with Miss Lipscomb, we're going to talk about pointillism. Pointillism is when you use small dots to create a bigger picture. These projects are going to be inspired by Claude Monet. We talked about Claude Monet shortly on Monday, and we're going to begin working on a project that is focused on his art style. Here are some photos that show his art style of pointillism. Let's get started. You're going to need a white sheet of paper and you're going to need paint. You get purple, green, brown paint as well as a few cotton swabs or Q-tips. First, we're going to be working on the stem of our flower. So go ahead and dip your Q-tip into the green paint and begin drawing the outline of your stem. Once you work on the outline, you can go ahead and fill it in and remember to use dots because we want to focus on pointillism. Next, you're going to go ahead and work on the leaves of your flower. Once you complete the stem and the leaf of your flower, we're going to go ahead and dip our next Q-tip into our brown paint. Once you dip it into the brown paint, you're going to go above the stem and draw a small circle outline. And once you do that, you can go ahead and fill it in with your dots. This is going to be the center of our flower. The next thing you're going to do is take the color you would like your flower to be and you're going to draw the outline of the flower. You're going to start with the outline of the petals and once you complete the outline of the petals, you can go ahead and fill them in completely with the color that you would like. And there you have it, your pointillism flower, made of small dots. Next, we're going to get into our second project. Our second project is going to be a tree. We're going to start with a plain white piece of paper. You can go ahead and use the same paint that you had before. You can begin by taking your green paint and draw the grass using dots. Remember, we're focused on pointillism. We're going to work on another technique that might be helpful. Take a brown crayon and lightly draw the outline of the bark of your tree, just like so. Next, take a green crayon and do the same thing for the top of your tree, very lightly. Next, you're going to take your brown paint Dip your Q-tip in it and you're going to follow along the brown outline that you drew. Once you complete the outline, you can go ahead and fill it in with your dots. Once you complete this part, you can go ahead and take your Q-tip, dip it into the green, and you can begin drawing your dots at the top of your tree. If it helps, you can follow along the green crayon that you drew and fill in the rest afterwards.
and there you should have it. There's your pointillism tree, inspired by Claude Monet. Great job today, guys. I will see you tomorrow for Art at Home with Miss Lipscomb.